Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Member SMP Season 3. Like always, if you guys have missed out on any, you can go back, check out the playlist, get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. And if you would like to join this here server with me and other folks, all you have to do is drop 99 cents to become a member here on YouTube. And that will get you a bunch of cool perks. You'll get emojis next to your name that say what level you are, emojis that you can use in the chat, and you'll also get access to this here 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. Join whenever you want, or with me on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm going to be recording it now instead of uh, streaming, but still, I will be on about the same times on Tuesdays and Fridays, I believe. Shrelly, except uh, I think Sloth wants to TP. Let's see if uh, I might have been too late. It is the Sloth. I don't know what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to get into today. I got two dogs now. We got a Floof and a Floof friend. Uh, can I withdraw a Netherite ingot? Uh, let's let's tell him negative. I should probably join the uh, the voice chat. Actually, he's not on there. If, if anybody else jumps on, we'll uh, we'll join up in voice chat. All right, we're gonna go to the bank. We have to do bank duties. He would like to make a withdrawal. Ooh, the wall is actually expanded. He's built it up a little. All right, what can I do for you today, sir? All right, let's see. What what do we got here? That looks to be an official uh, fifty penning uh, signed by Jake the Mead. Okay, cool. So we can take that. Put that on here, and sloth, sloth, sloth. He would like one netherite back. There you go. All right, sloth. I have to ask: Are you still sloth? You look different. What the butts is this? All right, there you go. Have a good day, sir. Leave. Get out. Get out now. All right, well, that's good. I've, uh, I've done my duties at the bank. Now, let's see. Uh, I wonder if I have any... I think I don't think I have any... I have some diamonds. I mean, I could swap out some more of my own pennings here. We can go to spawn lands and, like, see if there's anything I need to do to... Anything I need to add to that bank. I think we're pretty much the same. We've got the glass. We've got the counter. We've got the seating. We've got the paintings. We've got the vault in the bottom. I think we're pretty much chilling. Let's see. What do I have as far as pennings? I've got 123, got 11 diamonds, 14, okay. Yeah, I could maybe take these five diamonds and just turn them into pennings. So we have a 50 penning in there. We've had, we've had a, a return. He's not Rossi, he's Ross. I wonder where Ross is at. So if I'm gonna trade with myself, do I have to like do one of these numbers? All right, there's five diamonds. Okay, sir, let me grab that for you. Okay, five diamonds, you wanna get uh. Let's see there. That'd be 50 pennings. Okay. So, there you go. We'll throw these five diamonds in here. And you can get a 50 penning book right there. Bam. And then uh, I will... Oh, hold on. I have to... Let me go back to the top. All right, sir. Here is your 50 penning book. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, actually, could I go ahead and uh, deposit this? Yeah, let me, uh, let me take care of that for you real quick. Bam. All right. Let's go ahead and throw that down in your, uh, oop, throw that down in your vault here. There you go. Um, you know what? Let me, let me organize his pennings for him. It's a nice, nice fella here. There we go. All in order. 173 penning. Nice. Good deal. Sloth says it's my time to watch over Kattegat. Nice. I approve. I approve the Sloth watching over Kattegat. I don't know why my arms seem very bare. Should I like, should I like add some stuff to my arms? I feel like I could use like a, maybe like an arm ring or something. I think what I could do here, let's go ahead. I have a single doorway. I have a double doorway, but we can like go ahead and like kind of path this and go grab some stairs. Someone needs to watch while the king's away. Yeah, true, true, true. Very true. That is um, a fair point. I'm supposed to be the king now at this point in the game, uh, so, so yeah, the uh, the precious, the hat, should be transferred. If I'm if I'm gonna be king, then we have to do the the legal ceremony there, you know, transfer the precious. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. 
there was some contention with me becoming king. As soon as it happened, everybody turned against me. There was revolts. People wanted to turn away from the, the king, the kingdom. It's craziness. Sloth will be back. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll fix this up. We'll make this a little bit more pathed here. This will be nice. That way we. Uh, so I'm like always running and jumping to get back up to the main the main house here. So we'll fix that up. I think here we'll just kind of right here. I think is in line with the stairs. I think we'll just double path it here. Oh, I forgot about this little fella. Alright, I think that's pretty nice. We got a nice little path here going to the bank. So now we can kind of run along this instead of having to, you know, hop around. And then we got a little bit of stairs, get you down here, and then you can get on into here. And alright, I'm gonna have a seat here at the bank, wait for my turn. He was watching me. Slothman was watching me through the window. I know it. You're you're up to something. He's wearing that sloth skin. He's doing something. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like what's going on here. All right. So we'll put these stairs away. We'll put this dirt away. Uh, I have sharpness four and knockback two that I could throw on my sword. That's gonna kind of make this like an ultimate sword and unbreaking three, which I didn't have before. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on my sword here. If I can, I don't know what the level, I think that's going to be pretty high of a level requirement. You dingus, get out of my house. I'm tired of you doing this crap. God dang dinguses, they keep doing this. They're breaking in, they're, they're, they're standing there menacingly. <gasps> Somebody. Ooh. Somebody stole all of my lapis. Where is my lapis? What the fudge? Okay, there's a little bit here. They're lucky. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't really need the lapis anyway, because I'm, I'm just doing it in the... Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to do it here. So I didn't really need the lapis anyway, but still. I don't like the fact that somebody stole my lapis. That is going to be a sick sword. Uh, but anyways, let's throw some more lapis in here. I need to get a couple levels, so we can go to the skelly farm. No one can go in your chest unless you're OP. Yeah, that's true. Nobody... Because it's claimed. People can't go in there unless they're OP, so they would have to be like Cap or Awakey. Uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a little bit of farming, do a little bit of animal breeding. That'll get me some levels, and if I have to, I'll go to Skelly Farm. Uh, Slothman hasn't seen Awakey in weeks. Yeah, he hasn't been on here much, I don't think. He's been doing art streams, he hasn't been doing uh, any Minecraft streams. Oh, look at these cows. Oh, yeah, that's levels right there. That's going to be some big levels. Uh, we could probably do a little bit more. Let's gather the rest of this. And uh, breed them a little bit more. And the chickens also. If there's a lot of chickens, I don't know if anybody's been uh, messing with my farms. But if we got a lot of chickens, that's a pretty decent way to get levels. The chicken farm is kind of bonkers right now, honestly. Alright, cows. Let's get some more, uh, some more breeding going. Let's... Get these levels. Get me to 16. Who put a hole here? Somebody always putting holes in my in my farmage. Okay, this is um, it's a lot of cows. I need to I need to escape. Please let me allow me to escape. Please, I have I have some levels. Let me out <laughs> now for you chickens. Oh, there's not a whole lot of chickens. All right, that's fine. We can add more more chickens anyway. We can get the chicken population back up. I think I took a lot of the chickens out mainly for uh, getting the book and quills for the bank. Seeds we don't need. I have plenty of seeds. Uh, so yeah, if we want to get more chickens, all we got to do is one of these numbers. And uh, one of these numbers. The whole reason they're in the water in the first place. So that way we collect a lot of eggs. You know what? I could start like an egg shop. Why not? I should do that. I could sell eggs. Saw says this farm is amazing. Hey, it's uh, it's not bad, not too shabby, I suppose. Uh, yeah, he says this farm is amazing. You pretty much uh, 
Oh, don't come to my base. This farm is amazing. You pretty much never run out of string. Oh, I don't think he's talking about my farm. I think he's talking about his own farm. I'm going to his base. Let's see here. What have you got here? A string farm. How does this work? Let's see. I'm curious. I've never seen a thing like this. Oh, yeah, dude. You're never running out of string. That is crazy. I've never seen a thing like this. A string duper. Huh. That's insane. Yeah, I never knew that was a thing. For netherite mining, easy wool. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Dude, he's got unlimited string there. Uh, so I need, like, one more level. I am going to run to the skelly farm. Actually, I can breed the pigs, too. I haven't done that in quite a while. Let's grab, uh, let's grab up some carrots, and we'll breed the pigs. Hello, pigs. It's not a whole lot of pigs. I mean, I don't really have much use for pigs. I mean, you end up... It's kind of sad you end up taking them out just for food anyway, so... Why, uh... Oh, that got me to levels, though. Very nice. Uh, sauces, we need to fix the end badly. That is very true. Uh, I would like to go to the end. So that was pretty nice. We did not have to, uh... Didn't have to take out any animals. Didn't have to take out any skellies. Just a little bit of breeding. So let's go ahead and have a nap here. Let's see. It's been a little while since I've been on as well. So let's check on my uh, my farms here. All right, all right. We got a lot of paper. Uh, one, two, three, four stacks. Let's. All oh, the wood's got to be popping off. Oh yeah, we're pretty much popping off on wood. Not being able to fly around and have kits in my shulker is kind of annoying. True. I. Uh, yeah, the shulkers, like, I really want shulkers so that way I can build stuff far away. You know, you gotta... Well, it'd be really nice. You could fly somewhere, and then you can build something, take the blocks with you. Okay, so we are full up on bamboo. I should maybe, like, see about combining this. Let's throw those in there. Um, I mean, the main kind of thing with this bamboo farm is uh, getting bamboo for other bamboo products, like as far as um, scaffolding, stuff like that. So leaving it in bamboo form is pretty good. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to fill up really quick. So I might as well take more out and convert it into blocks. Yeah, because honestly, like we've already filled up that quick. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty fast that we fill up on bamboo again. This thing must have been full too. Yeah, I guess this would have had to have been full too. Let's take everything out of that. There we go. All right, so uh, I should maybe collect a little bit of bread. I, I got a decent bit on me, but I'd like to have a surplus, you know? So let's, uh, let's get some bread going. I can throw the rest of this wheat on here. Get that thrown on in, making bread also. Let's grab some seeds. I have, like, way more seeds than I know what to do with, so I'm going to start just chucking them out. I don't need all them seeds. Yeah, look at this. Ridiculous amounts of seeds and probably honestly throw out a lot of this too Every time we harvest we just get a ridiculous amount. See what we're doing with bread here. We're making more bread Let's get this bread. Oh, yeah That barrel's got Hmm. Okay, it's taking some time for this to kind of get filtered through I mean it's it seems like it's doing it, but it's taking a while Ooh, Amaha has joined yeah, so like this stuff kind of goes crazy because we Slothman lives in the area too, so like we always have somebody here. So like this stuff is just constantly kind of running. That's what's so nice about the auto farms. Bam, we have sharpness four, knockback two, looting three, unbreaking three, mending the ultimate sword. All it needs is a little bit of netherite on it. So uh, Amaha, I don't think he's going to jump into the voice, but uh, I think he's supposed to... Transfer me the precious as my right of being king. That will be make it official, you know. All right, I'm going to break my bed, move it over, so that way my spawn should no longer be set. Break this one just in case too. Actually, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, get to spawn then. Hopefully this works. You know, that was dumb. I didn't need to do that. I have I have the claim here, so I can do claims and just like select which one I want. 
All right, so this is this is me becoming king. Amaha is going to transfer the power to me. There is the precious. Oh, he can't get the precious. <laughs> there. He will transfer the precious to me, and that will mean that I am king. Is this is this going to happen? What's going to happen here? <laughs> He's just staring at me. I don't I don't know what to do. I hereby give you the precious. I have the precious. I am now the king of the United Kingdoms. <laughs> the United um what do we call these? <laughs> What do I call them? The United Realms? Yes, I am now the king of the United Realms. Very nice. We've done it. After all these years, I finally made it. Let's see. Let's check the rules here. The Great Book of Law. Whoever disobeys a king or hand of the king's punishment gets banished or banned. Punishment shall be executed by the honor as king's guard. The holder of the crown shall not get any money from taxes. Can I edit this? I think I have to take it, right? Yeah, let's uh let's add in king ahead of his name here. We want this to look more official, right? I can I can do this now because I am the king, so it is it is my right. <laughs> Sloth, it's happened. I am in fact the king. He says, Welcome King Jake. Much appreciated, Sloth. Look at that. I, I wear the uh, the special crown, the special hat. Now, I have something I would like to do here. Now that I have the authority of a king. I mean, I, I could have done it before. I don't think it would have mattered much anyway. But now we are official. So let's, uh, I should probably like plant some more trees. His horse. Oh, his, his horse is still alive. Okay, I thought his horse like died or something. Now yeah, we're chilling. So I need a little, just a little bit of wood here. Who's leaving their floating trees? What the butts? Nobody can touch this tree, though. This is the tree of voting. A very important tree. Let's make sure... Let's clear out the voting area here. Okay, we're good on the, the voting the voting zone. Uh, let's grab some sap. I should really get this stuff replanted. We had a great forest here at one point, and it's kind of been destroyed I, it was it was a little bit destroyed in the name of making the bank I'm not gonna lie so since it's my fault I'll get it kind of replanted so what I wanted to do it might be more wood in here even uh, yes there's sticks actually too and a sign let's plant up a bunch of trees I want this to be a forested land it's so my first action as king is regrowing the forest all right so lots of trees have been planted my first order as king uh, next up, what we're gonna do, I got a couple things I want to do. We're gonna make a few more signs. A little bit of uh, sprucey wood. Make some signs. We got a, we had a couple signs, but we need a few more, I think. We are going to... Should we add it back here, or should it go on this wall? I think we'll do it here. We should have enough room, I think. We'll start at the top. Uh, first... King of United United Lands King Turbo First King of United Lands King Turbo And then uh, It was Amaha right and then me So we only been at this for f Four weeks Second King Of United, United Lands, King, Amaha. Yeah, I guess that would be right because we have the Great Book of Law. We have King Turbo's and King Amaha's uh, rules. And that's it. Third King of United Lands, King Jake Nar. Very nice. So we have added like some... You know, some kind of, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like a line of kings, I guess. We'll have a line of kings going across, so that way we keep track of all the different kings throughout time. 
But uh, another thing I do want to do here, I want to make an addition to this building here. I think at the back here. So I'm going to chop a couple more of these. Wait, what is Sloth on about? He said, uh, if you follow the cobbled deep slate, you'll find the raid farm. Uh, I'm waiting for your arrival. It's near the Netherrack Tower. Okay. Yeah, so what I want to do, I want to build a, a bit of an addition to to the Hall of Kings here. Because, uh, I mean, it's just like a long hall with seats and a throne. Um, I think, like, as king, it would be good to have a little bit of a, a place to stay. Like, to sleep when you're here, right? So we're going to build just like a little bit of a bedroom at the back here. So I think on like either side, we'll have a stair. Or not a stair, but like we'll have a, uh, a doorway. Then at the back here, let's build a bit of a floor. Wait, I'm going to need a lot more wood, I think. This is a pretty big building. So that's kind of part of the reason I planted a lot of these trees is so that way I could re re deforest the area by uh, building my addition here. But I'll keep re replanting. We'll, we'll kind of grow the forest a little bit, I think, as we uh, as we deforest. You know, my subject has arrived to uh, to bend the knee to the king. Hello there, my new subject. Welcome. This is my new addition that I'm adding on to the Hall of Kings. Yeah, go ahead. You can go check out the Hall of Kings if you want. It's a pretty nice place. Um, do you have any offerings for me? Let me see. Beetroot, uh, kelp, spruce saplings. Not, nah, we got we got all this. We're good. Blue ice would be kind of useful, but I think we're pretty good on what you've got. Thanks, though, buddy. All right, so I've done a little bit of deforestation, but I've also expanded on the forest so i think i think that kind of makes up for it right i don't know how much bigger i'm gonna go for this i mean it should be pretty big it's gonna be like uh kind of a grand bedroom for the king let's go one more layer i think let's see we've got one two three four five six eight now let's go one more layer nine i like i like doing them in odd numbers gives you that little bit of a middle place and we'll just kind of wall it up I wonder if anybody's gonna notice. Okay, so it's pretty well walled up now. Let's throw some torches down. I think I'm gonna do like a, I think the beds, bed will go here. Let's do a big triple bed. Let's have three beds. Uh, we'll put a fireplace over here. Maybe like some little decorations, nightstand, something like that. Oh, there was some wood in there. That's, that's pretty good. I'm actually gonna take that. I'll use this also. I think this could be good for like the fireplace. I need a bit of doors. I only need two, so we'll uh, throw one of those back. You know, I'll take the stairs also. That could be good for for the fireplace. I don't know how yet, but we could make it work. So there we go. We got a little bit of a doorway in. Another doorway. I'd like this to go the other way. Is that is that a possibility? There we go. Nice. So I think we're only going to go up one more on this, and then we can um, do a little bit of a slanted roof. It's going to be a little bit weird joining this to that. Okay, so here in the middle, we want to have the fireplace. Let's dig this down. I think we'll pop it on in there. I'm going to run home real quick and grab some more stuff. Right, we're back at Kattegat. Let's go see what we've got. I have some spruce stairs. What do I want to do for the ceiling? I got a lot of spruce slabs. Let's do slabs. I also would like to make the beds. Oh, they don't stack. I always forget about that. There we go. Three gray beds. That's pretty good. Put that in the middle. I think uh, I need to, some fires for the uh, for the fire. It's how to make campfires. You need coal, right? Don't have a whole lot of coal. I need two of them, so we need another piece of coal. Or no, I need three campfires, right? There we go. I think that should just about do it. If we have to, we can always kind of TP on back here. We have arrived. I need a little bit more torches, too. I should throw another torch up over here. I think what we'll do, we'll kind of throw that like there. We'll do our campfires here. I think maybe even right here we'll have a little bit. We don't want 
It's like if, as if this was gonna burn, you know? We don't want anything burning, so... We kind of do like one of these. A little bit of this. And, uh... Yeah, we can build with the bricks just up through the top. We don't want it closed. We want the smoke to escape, right? We could kind of close it up a little bit, though, here at the top. <clears throat> Let's do one of these numbers. I suppose we probably don't need that there either. We'll kind of thin it as it gets to the top, right? Kind of something like that. And I think we could even do something like this. Let's, let's make this thing fancy, huh? There we go. That's pretty cool looking. If I do say so myself. Uh, how's King's Hall? Sloth is asking how the King's Hall is. We can uh, we can show him if he wants to toilet paper his way here. There we go. I think that's probably good enough, right? There we go. Now we can kind of uh, get to work on the roof. So yeah, we have, we have a big bedroom here with a nice fire roaring. Um, I think that's a good addition to the King's Hall. <laughs> he says, what the fudge? He says, Jake, it's really good. Nice. Appreciate it, buddy. I need to uh, somehow do this roof. Yeah, I'm just going to do... I'm not going to match the rainbow. I'm just going to do like a regular roof that meets up with the, uh, the rest of the building. Something like this. Says your fireplace ain't working. Uh, it's working. What do you mean? There's smoke. Look, right there, there's smoke. Oh, he didn't have particles turned on. The dingus. Yeah, there's there's definitely smoke. All right, so let's see. How can we... Then we can kind of go up one more. Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, I've not yet added my law, so... I have yet to do... I have to do that still. Then we'll do a little bit more slabberinos here and this will finish up the uh the roof just like that yeah we're just gonna add a couple little uh spruce accents like this i think this should look pretty good just like that and there it is that's the addition i mean it, it fits in pretty well it's like it doesn't have the uh, whole rainbow top thing going but i think it still looks pretty good otherwise and uh, the inside, the inside is what really matters. So when you come on into the uh, Hall of Kings, I need to add another torch over on the other side. But uh, anyways, you come on in here, and then bam, you got a cozy little bedroom. Any future kings will will thank me, I'm sure. I will. Um, I'll definitely add a little more decoration. Like we can put a couple little tables here or something, somehow. Some little nightstand. Maybe add some paintings, maybe even a little windows or something. Make it look a little, a little nicer, but otherwise that's uh, that's it. I think that's pretty much it. I think it looks pretty good. And I will leave these materials for whoever's next. Oh, there's actually a lot of this deep slate. Whoever's next in line, they can use them to uh, add things that they would like if they want. I like the idea of each king maybe adding a little bit of an addition if they need to. Like we could add a basement even in here too. I actually, I built the throne before I was king. This is, uh, was King Turbo's throne. All right, so last thing we're going to do, we're going to go check out Turbo's raid farm. And then, uh, then I'm going to call it a day. So we'll, uh, we'll TP to him. I don't think he's accepting. Yeah, from the outside, I mean, I think that still looks pretty good. Oh, I fudged up the TP by, uh, moving around. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's still pretty good. It fits in with the theme. Right, let's see. What do we uh, what do we have here? He found this. Hey, what the heck is all this? Are we in Kattegat? It is Kattegat. Hmm. What the heck is this? Down here. This is weird. Drink a bottle, then hit it with your axe after five ticks of lava. WT fudge? I don't understand how this works. He is my food source? <laughs> what? So, wait, does, is that starting a raid then? The, I mean, you would have to... You'd have to, like, get the, uh... You have to get the bottles from somewhere, though, right? 
Yeah, where do you where is he getting these bottles? Oh, a raid is starting. Oh fudge. This is not good. This close to Kattegat and we have a raid going on? I don't know about this. I'm scared. This I need though. I will grab a little bit of that. Oh, here they are. They are here. We got one. Let's get him. Let's freaking get him. I don't have any shield. This is bad. I should have had a shield. I defeated the first level at least. I need to get myself a shield for sure. So I'm going to the water, huh? Why do you put some into the water? A boat to... Get in boat, burn to lava after five ticks. You hit with an axe and it's GG. Huh. This is weird. They're not really like showing up like they should. I feel like. I'm just co mining coal. I'm just the coal miner. Simple coal miner. They always do different sides. So they've probably showed up in a different area this time. I see him. I'm killing them. Yeah, they're just kind of running in trying to get over there. They're not really like attacking me. Got him. Uh, two remaining. Where the butts are these fools? Oh, does he got some in there? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see. He just died, didn't he? You got a free axe? Huh. Okay. So now do they just keep coming into this spot? Emeralds were already in there. Free banners. I don't know if they'll keep showing up here though, will they? I think you need to flatten the whole area. Gonna fix part of it later, it's kinda rigged right now. Okay. I think it could probably be more efficient, huh? Gotta expand it more. Yeah, I think if you flatten out the area really good, might be pretty good. Alrighty, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of the Minecraft Member SMP Season 3. Like always, you can go back, check out a playlist if you missed any, and get yourself caught up on the ones you've not yet seen. If you would like to join, it's only 99 cents to become a member. That will get you access to this here cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. It is 24-7, so you can join whenever you want, or with me on Fridays. Also, make sure if you enjoyed, hit that like button. Helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future videos or streams. Join the Discord so that way you can come by and chat. Uh, and if you would like to help support in another way, you can check out some of this cool merch like this hat I'm wearing. The link will be in the description and on the channel page and all of that stuff. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.